Hi, this is Amy, and today I thought I would go over the new Google Drive features that Alice Keeler posted in her blog, Teacher Tech, um, using video. Uh, this is for anyone who's coming back to the school year in 2014 and encountering a new Google Drive view, which definitely is everybody in my school district. I just got mine today. So um, take a look at how the new Google Drive looks. It's quite different from before. And um, let me remind you what it looked like before. So here is my Google Drive in my personal account. And you can see how different it looks from my Google Drive school account where I've got the new view turned on. And both of these are viewing the contents of my drive. So as Alice points out to us, here's a pretty big change right here. In the old drive, we see an option down here that is called Shared With Me. And this is where any files that someone shares with you will show up. Now check it out in our new drive. That option is gone. And we see the word Incoming to identify those files. So that's a pretty big change right there. She also points out to us very astutely that a single click opens one of these documents. So if I want to check out this um, agenda right here, I can give it a single click and it will open up in a new tab. And she also points out to us that when we hover, we get our options. So there's my download options and my more, uh, my more options right there. So check out hover on not only incoming, but also on my drive. Let's take a look at it on a file that that I own. So here's a file that I own and see I don't get any hover options there but and when I single click on it I get this panel that opens up on the right hand side. So if I want to open this file that I own I'm gonna give it a double click. So it's a little different now in the incoming section and in the my drive section. So the next thing Alice points out to us is what we need to do with the Drive folder. So when we go to our incoming section, we're going to see an Add to My Drive button. And she's absolutely right about why we would want to use that button. So let's say that someone has shared this file with me, this file folder with me, and when I hover over it, I see the option to Add to My Drive. Now, I'm not going to necessarily change the contents of that folder, but I want to be able to organize this stuff. And I can't organize anything in incoming. See, it's all just a big list. So if I want to organize any of these contents, then I need to add to my drive, and then I'll see it over in my drive, and I can put it into a folder or you know, organize it in whatever way I like. Alice also points out to us that we can see these three dots when we hover over one of these incoming files. And this gives us the option to, for example, let's say we had a Word doc in here and we want to open it with Google Docs. This would make a copy of the file and turn it into a Google Doc if we did that. And we can also, if we have permissions, share with others or add a star, uh, rename it, make a copy, or take it out of incoming. So let's say you've you've seen the file and you found that you don't need access to it. It's not actually helpful helpful to you, maybe it was shared with you accidentally, then you could actually remove it from your incoming section right there. So let's move back over to my drive and look at a, a few more things that you might or might not have noticed. These might not be changes from before, but just helpful things to know. So if you want to view your drive in a grid view, you can do that right here. And you can see how you'll see a little preview of any documents that are not inside folders. So that can be really helpful for finding things. And then you can return to a list view right up there. So that's how you toggle back and forth. And then here are some sort options. So right now I've got mine set on sort by last modified. But if you're looking for something that you changed recently, you may want to change over to last edited by me, for example. And that would tell you um, which files you've ordered, you've edited, and in which order that would be. Um, your Google Drive settings are in the same place. If you find that you need to toggle back to the previous view of Drive, then you can do that right here with your settings gear and leave the new Drive. By the same token, if you're not seeing the new Drive right now, so let's go back over to my other Google Drive where I've turned it off, I can also turn that back on again right here, experience the new Drive, and that'll toggle me over to the new view. So I hope that that was helpful for you. And uh, as you go back to school in the 2014 school year, uh, maybe that tells you what you need to know about the new Google Drive. Once again, thanks to Alice Keeler for her great article. 
new Google Drive shared becomes incoming, make sure to follow her blog at www.alicekeeler.com. Thanks and have a great day.